So in this video, I'll show you how to customize your TWS newsfeed and also select the right source for your style of trading. But before doing that, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading and investing will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. So to open a new window in TWS, click new window, drop down to news and after that just go to newswire when you're on this section there's a lot of different choices but the main choices are always going to be filtered by topic so you're going to start with this one over here so we're going to go to filtered by topic and provider then it's going to give you a feed with a lot of news crawling so the next thing you want to do is go to your setting wheels click on it go to setting and then we're going to scroll down and you're going to have a lot a lot a lot of source so we're going to go over the main source because a lot of them are duplicates or are just not necessary as you're going to be able to see in this video. So the first thing you want to do is deselect all because there's just too much. So we're going to go over the first source, which is the access wire source. And this is going to be part of the US press release. So you're going to need to select it. And after that, we're going to scroll all the way down almost at the bottom and you're going to have US press release. So now that you selected both of these source, we're going to go over what they are because it's going to be pretty useful to know if these settings are going to be the right one for you. So when we're talking about US press release, we're talking about the official news that the company push out normally in the morning or the after hour. These are going to come from business wire, globe wires, access wires, and also PR news wires. So these are going to be your main US press releases. But for what we want to do today, which is make this useful, the way you would do this is go back to the wheel. And now you still have all the proper source selected, which is the US press release and also the access wire. And you're going to select company specific news. So now because we do have already the proper source selected, we're going to be able to link it to a specific window. So you're going to click apply, then OK. So now it's going to be connected to a news feed. So we're going to just link this with this little group over over here so when you click on a stock it's gonna at least be able to link you with the proper news and then you can click on it and it's gonna bring you the full article which is actually a good thing so the way I have this set up for the first type of news it's going to be just like this and this is the one I have right on top over here so I'm just gonna change the color and then you can see that this is the one that I have right over here so whenever I scan through the pre-market or even intraday I can just click on a stock which is in a filter that I have made and then I can just click on the news and then I'm able to open and look at what is the press release or the news that came out on a specific stock. So we have over here Mara, over here $200 million line of credit and then you can have a quick glance and also if there's other stocks sometimes that are connected to the same press release it's going to show you right over here. So that was the first type of of news feed that you need. These are going to be the official press release that comes out from the company and these are always going to be the most important one. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading and investing. So don't forget to check that out. Let's get back to the video. After that, what you're going to need to do is go back into your new window. Then you're going to go Newswire and you're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to go filter by topic and provider. This is going to be a bit different. So this one is going to be for your intraday news flow. So we're going to do the same thing and we're going to say to select all. And for these type of news, what we like to have is the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, you don't select the press release, but you can select the Dow Jones trader news. And also what you're going to do right after that is you're going to have the street insider this one and these are going to be what it's called your aggregator dow jones is going to have a lot of news so your upgrade your downgrade and after that street insider is going to be republishing news from bloomberg from reuters and all that stuff so because this is going to be a larger aggregator what you can also do is go to setting and then over here you can add Reuters and the proper one is going to be the definitive significant development. So why this one is because significant development, it's a tag for major news or important news. If you just put Reuters news, you can have like a hundreds or thousands of news coming every two minutes versus this one is always going to be some important filters. And then you're going to see whenever there's Dow Jones, which is going to be DJ. And then whenever there's Reuters news, significant development, it's going to pop after with tag Reuters right over here. So this is something that I like to have because these are going to be normally the biggest uh, news that comes out. 
from Dow Jones and also Reuters, which are some of the most important provider. If you don't have Bloomberg, this is a really good way for almost zero dollar because you don't even need to subscribe to these stores. They come in your platform. And if you realize that you want additional news, what you would want to do is add Street Insider. So Street Insider, what it is, it's an aggregator. So it just republishes news from all the other source that are out there. So it's going to say, oh, this news is important. So they just republish it into their feed. So you're going to be able to see it on this news. So normally there's about maybe one news every 10 minutes, 15 minutes on Street Insider. But these are going to be mainly news that comes already from Dow Jones, Reuters, which you're going to be able to have access in here. So normally this is something that I do like to have open just as like a general uh, news feed on my screen. And then what is the main important one or the most important one is going to be the one that is connected over here to the stock that I'm trading because I always want to know when a news comes out in the morning stock is moving it making a quick move it's on my scan I can just go here click have a good a read of the headline and then I can go on with trading or not trading it depending on what is the news so for the rest of this layout what I have is just the scanner that I explained in the previous video I have a different page with more scanner but it's connected to a chart and then I'll just link the charges for an example but if ever I change something it's going to change everything together so someone said in the comment section at a certain point um, they were saying that they have a bit of a glitch with the advanced chart I found that it's possible sometimes that it kind of bugs for for some reason if you want to have the faster and the most efficient way of doing things use the old chart these are going to be this one over here so chart but use this chart over here so you're going to be able to see that this one is just a little faster so I did trade Nvidia this morning and there was nothing really happening so I left it alone for the rest of the day and if you want to create a little bit of space just click over here you see this little thing over there and also if you want to want to add more margin on top you can do it just like this on the right so these are going to be normally the most or the fastest uh, chart for TWS so you're going to be able to navigate a little quicker um, to just select the stock you want and as you saw it is pretty efficient sometimes there's a little lag here and there but overall when you're looking at stuff pre-market or even intraday it's just so much easier I have all my scan with an intraday chart a daily chart my news feed and all the other scan and I can just scroll through everything and this is something that is actually new for me I used to have a different scanner with different news feeds connected but I realized I could actually use the feed without paying in TWS so I started to use it more and more and I found that it's actually a pretty good way or even the best way right now for zero dollar to scan for news and connect everything together so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace